ఉంటుంది <laughs> okay questions will be in that range and uh, we ex- i expect answers from you uh, in that uh, in scenario okay so let's begin from it let's hear it from you uh, you can tell me your introduction uh, my name is punal chandra sir i am currently living in hyderabad i come to my uh, education background i am recently passed recently graduated from uh, national marine engineering college in the domain of cyber security so coming to my skills i have hands on experience on uh, such tools like sqr and splunk um, and very familiar with a tool like also cloud right so i did uh, i had done an internship in a particular software limited private limited so i have uh, such in in penetration testing ethical hacking and also in with uh, vulnerability assessment penetration testing also Okay, that's great to hear. Like, uh, do you do you hold any certifications on your name? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I hold a uh, e council certificate, uh, certified, uh, e council certificate, uh, certified ethical hacker. Oh, great, great, great. So, like, uh, what do you do as a ethical hacker? Uh, I need to, I need to, uh, I mean, test the vulnerabilities, and I need to report those vulnerabilities. Okay, so to patch. Okay. So what are the vulnerability tools you will be using? Yeah, Metasploit. Okay. The main framework is used for vulnerability assessment is Metasploit. For the reconnaissance purpose, we use Nmap. For scanning, port scanning, vulnerability scanner. Okay, that's great. Uh, so do you know anything related to incident uh, response? Yeah. So what are the stages or uh, what is the kind of incident response uh, I mean, you know or you have done in your internship? Uh, it's simply not. I mean, uh, in, uh, I have mainly the idea about uh, SQL Adver. I have uh, I mean, experienced those logs by like uh, several attacks, brute force attack, man in the middle attacks. So, so like, what are the incident response steps you have uh, followed? By isolating, uh, I mean, if, if the attack is caused, you need to isolate. system which is compromised you know that like masking regarding what are the steps like preparation identification those kind of steps that are there in an incident response phase i am expecting you to say those kind of steps in the incident response phase that you are working on okay so actually when you work in an organization you will be uh, dealing with these phases okay. okay so like your response will be in phased manner so first you will be preparing and the rest of the stuff okay that will follow okay uh, then that's good uh, explain uh, os layer model so uh, first first is this call layer second one is data network layer so those are several seven layers in os layer model each layer has so in uh, session layer what is the uh, what is it what is the attack that is going to happen session hijack okay great so at an application layer so how vulnerable is application layer to attacks and what are the possible attacks on one uh, application layer small cross scripting let me comprehensively cross scripting okay so what do you mean by that cross site scripting Uh, it is i mean injecting the attacker will inject the malicious code to the uh, application fake application okay like uh, detail or explain the recent uh, attack that you have gone through okay yeah no, i mean you did not study any recent attack you are not up to date with the recent attacks so like you don't follow any community blogs related to cyber security i follow one pretty not stable okay that's uh, that was a nice nice meeting with you thank you we'll get back to you.